Hello and welcome to another episode of Indie Corner. I'm your host, Jason Lapine, and every Wednesday I list off a bunch of upcoming Wii U indie titles, as well as a few currently released games, and describe why they're an interesting addition to the Wii U library. Today we're going to focus on beat em up games, lifting off as many as I can all within five minutes. Let's start off with Gunlord, developed by NG Dev Team. This Euro style platformer places emphasis on exploring huge worlds and blasting off enemies. The game features nine stages of exciting non-linear 2D gameplay with over 45 unique enemy types. The graphics are all hand-drawn and the game offers huge bosses to battle against. On the tech side of things, we're looking at 16-bit graphics and a constant 60 frames per second. While originally slated for a 2014 release, no official date has yet been confirmed. Next we have Bloodbath, developed by Freedom Factory. Take hold of your gladiator and hack and slash your way through half a dozen other gladiators in multiple arena settings. Not only will the arenas hold other gladiators, but also mutant atrocities and traps. The game is set in a dystopian future and will deliver five battle modes. This gory title has yet to spill a release date. Our next title is Gang Beast, developed by Boneloaf. This title is currently available in its pre-alpha build. The title entertains players by giving you control of a strange doe-like man as he destroys environments and fights other doughy men. Marketed as a drunken street fighter, this game is sure to offer loads of entertainment at any local gaming party. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on an official release date for this one. Next we have a sequel to the classic Shaq Fu titled Shaq Fu A Legend Reborn, developed by Big D's Production. Borrowing from classics such as Streets of Rage, Street Fighter, and Devil May Cry, Shaq Fu is a beat em up game where you can learn hundreds of moves and techniques while taking on thousands of enemies and bosses either solo or in co-op mode. The sequel seeks to fix its predecessor's tarnished reputation while bringing in a modern twist to the classic beat-em-up style. At this time, Shaq Fu is currently seeking funding for platform releases on Indiegogo. If you want to see this on the Wii U, you can help fund the project by following the link in the description. Our next title is How to Survive by Echo Software. This zombie apocalypse survival game strands players on one of four islands off the coast of Colombia in the aftermath of an unexplained accident. In order to survive, you must seek out food, water, and shelter, as well as crafting dozens of tools and weapons. The game includes an item combination system, which is used to boost your health, solve puzzles, and beat down enemies. Three playable characters are available, each offering their own strengths and weaknesses. How to Survive is scheduled for a 2014 release. Time to take to the seas and shoot down your friends in Monkey Pirate, developed by Henchman Studios. Take control of your own boat as you fight in four different environments including Arctic, Caribbean, Egypt, and China. In these arenas, you'll find power-ups to improve your weaponry, improve your ship, or unleash special bonuses and effects. The arenas are filled with hazards such as icebergs, volcanoes, teleports, maelstroms, and turrets. The goal of the game is to sink opposing ships in order to seize the maximum amount of bananas. Gameplay mechanics will first have to be mastered, including how to control skidding, braking, and launching cannonballs effectively. No concrete release date has yet been given, but we do expect to see this one in the eShop this year. Here's an interesting beat em up, more like an eat em up. Evo Fish, developed by Bully Picks, is next. Go forth and conquer the vast expanses of the ocean as one of four playable Evo Fish species. Go from prey to predator while climbing your way to the top of the food chain. The game challenges you to survive an increasingly deadly host of enemies while climbing the evolutionary ladder by eating smaller fry and becoming the most feared predator there is. Evo Fish is available in the eShop today. Take to the Skies and Hell 9 developed by Retromade Game Studios. Bringing back a game in the same vein as Desert Strike, Tiger Heli and Air Rescue, Hell 9 puts you in a military helicopter as you search for marines and fight enemy troops. The game offers secondary missions on top of the main missions as well as a survival mode that pits you against endless waves of enemies that continue to get harder the longer you stay alive. No release date has yet been given for the Wii U. Following up, there's Team Colorblind's debut game, Aztez. Expand your Aztec empire through turn-based strategy while managing violent outbreaks via real-time beat-em-up sequences. The game's visuals are kept black and white except for the blood, which is shown in red, offering the gore lover plenty of red to cover the scene. No release date has so far been announced. And that covers our list of beat-em-up games for today. Thanks for joining me, and for more upcoming Wii U indie game listing coverage, tune in to NintendoEnthusiast.com. See you next week. What's up everyone, you want to look cool with a retro character on a bright red shirt? You can pick this one up at ChopShopGoods.com.